Welcome to the Art Lady's home. Today I am going to try and plant a wall of fruit trees to conceal the neighbor's camper from my backyard. And the first thing I'm going to do is I do have a papaya tree that I want to move because it's too close to this planter. So I'm going to transplant this. And I have the hole already dug right behind here. And then I'm going to plant this guava tree here. And then I just finished planting this peach tree. So I think within a few months, it's going to fill in that spot. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and move the papaya tree because it's too close to the new urn I plant, I, I put in. So I'm going to do that now and I'll show you what it looks like. It was easy to pull up because it hadn't been in the ground too long. And there we have it. So let's see what it's going to look like. And I think I like it. Um, this is the placement of the trees and I think I like it. This, this will grow in and I think it'll hide some of that camper. And I do have some undergrowth planted as well. I have some uh, angel trumpet, which grow really well here on this side. And then there is another guava. It's more of a bush type guava right here. And you can see he has a bunch of junk in the backyard, so this will conceal it nicely. And then I have some, uh, right here is going to be um, pagoda plants, which bloom in the fall, October on. And they bloom most of the winter and they're absolutely gorgeous and they're going to grow real tall as well. So usually those pagodas hide a lot of this. And then I have a shooting star bush back here, right there, that grows uh, six to 10 feet too and has beautiful purple foliage. So I think that'll uh, grow in nicely. Um, fill in the under under area and then the peach tree I mean the plum tree will eventually fill in this canopy area to hide the top of that camper um, unfortunately our neighborhood decided that we can have campers in our neighborhood so we have now this obstacle to face but these trees grow in pretty quickly I just planted a plum tree on the side yard in front of the hot tub for privacy and it's growing in really well. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like Here now. Here is the plum tree right in the center and that's about a month ago I planted it and it has really filled out. It did have a lot of plums on it, um, some really big beautiful ones that I was waiting uh, you know every day taking peeks and looking at but unfortunately the squirrels and this was I thought was unusual, unusual. The squirrels actually ate them and they weren't even ripe. I thought squirrels only eat the fruit when it is about to be ripe or ripe. Um, but this still had a little bit more time to go on it, so I was a little bit disappointed. Um, in the future, then I'll put, I was just about to put netting, and so in the future I'll put some netting or something around it to save them, because it would have been fun to have that, uh, a taste of that. But here's the side yard, and it's growing in wet, well. Um, so now I'm planting up the very end, so I will have more privacy. Now I'm going to show you some of the other trees that I've had success with. This is a cherry tree, and again this has been in only about a month, but seems to be growing really, really well, and it's pushing out nicely. It's a Bar or Barbados cherry. I'll put the uh, name in the underneath my captions. And so I planted two of those right in here. And here's the second one. And it's doing really well too. It bloomed a little bit and I don't see it setting fruit yet. And I think it's because when I planted it, it was just about to bloom. There was a few blooms on it, so I think just the shock of it. So we'll see by next year if we start um, getting some fruit. So I have a plum tree down the end here in front of the hot tub for foliage for blocking views. And then I have um, two of the cherry trees here. And then I have the plum tree and a papaya and several guava. It's a strawberry guava a regular guava, which is the bush type down at the bottom, 
and then I have actually a strawberry guava over here. The strawberry guava is to the left of the planter and then a peach tree is to the right of the planter. And I do have a little bit of peaches on here. So this was the last plantings, I believe, that I'm gonna do for my living hedge. I would like to get some citrus and things, but I'll be putting those in after. But here's my peach trees and they're starting already. And then this is strawberry guava here, which seems to be doing well. And I wanna say they've been in about a month, month and a half. 